Hello everybody! Welcome back to Baking Budgets y'all. I'm so glad you clicked on my video because today I'm going to be doing the second cash stuffing of September and this is my husband's paycheck so let's just go ahead and get started you guys. Today we are not going to be working with a lot and that's totally fine. Um, I think you know whether you're working with thousands of dollars or whether you're working with hundreds of dollars doesn't matter it's still a very good habit to stay in your routine of budgeting um every single dollar and that's exactly what i do on my channel so today we are working with 340 dollars so um i wasn't going to have any bills actually on this paycheck however some things have changed and i'm actually super stoked about it so I just like to start here and I'll just write that it's my husband's income, $340. And today is actually the 8th and it's September number two. Okay, so I like to start with my bills. So I'll do number one is bills. Okay, so what we got going on in here is, so for my payment i don't know what happened but i'm a hundred dollars short so yeah so i was like what the heck like i was totally freaking out going through it um because i don't know what i did wrong but anyways you know whatever the payment is due in like two days so i'm like i'm just gonna i'm just gonna put it here it's totally fine and then you guys i am so freaking stoked my husband and i have finally almost switched to mint mobile i've heard such great things about them and i'm so freaking stoked so um to start it's gonna be 90 dollars. so um i've already paid for my phone payment for this month and i paid a hundred dollars and i'm gonna get back 50 and i need to pay 90 so i'm just putting aside 40 and then i'll add the 50 and then i'll be able to pay it and then that'll be our phone plan for three months which is awesome because i've been paying a hundred dollars for one month so now it'll be 90 dollars for three months so i'm super stoked about that so essentially today bills is going to be getting 140 dollars okay and then that leaves us with a 200 dollars and next we'll go into my wallet wallet is like my like daily expenses and stuff so for here, I have gas, I got groceries, eating out, and miscellaneous. So gas this week is actually not getting anything, which is actually like super rare and never happens. Um, but last week when we were out of town, we just went ahead and filled up because we went to a gas station and it was very very inexpensive it was super cheap compared to what's around in our area so we just went ahead and filled up 100 percent all the way to the top so right now we have three quarters of a tank which is super awesome so i'm just gonna not stuff anything and then groceries oh my gosh you guys i'm super stoked about this i um am trying out hello fresh i been wanting to kind of switch it up a little bit so i went ahead and did an order and i had such a good coupon code i literally like googled it like i always google stuff like um like hellofresh coupon code and then i found one and i just put it in and my total went from 90 dollars to 20 dollars. so i just pay that out of my buffer um a buffer is like when you just kind of keep some money in your account it's not really accounted for but it's almost like a mini emergency so i just paid that for my buffer so i'm not including that in our groceries total up here so with that being said i'm only going to budget about 20 dollars cash uh, just to have something on hand um you know just in case next is eating out and per usual we just do 80 dollars and then on miscellaneous i'm also going to put 20 dollars so minus 20, minus 80, minus 20. And the reason I'm putting 20 in here, I usually don't always stuff miscellaneous, but I wanted to do it this week just because I'm not putting anything in gas. So I just want to be sure my bases are covered just in case. And if not, and the money rolls over, that'll be awesome. So that is $120. Perfect. And then last but not least, as you can see, we have $80 left. And I'm actually going to add that to my account buffer. And I'm going to leave that in there. I'm going to leave the $80 in there. 
um, because we need a few household items and I just like to grab them on Amazon. It makes it super easy um, that they just, you know, get delivered to my house. So we need to get my daughter's diapers, which is about $40. And then we also need to get q-tips and then we just need a couple other things so i just wanted to leave that in there and like i said earlier um if there is a remainder from this money totally fine i leave it in my account because a lot of times when we go to the city we have to pay like 10 to 20 dollars in parking um so that will just come out of there whenever we do that in the future if there's leftover money okay so everything here should equal 340 dollars. so 140 120 and 80. Perfect, $340. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna take the money out and let's get stuffing. Bye. Bye, sweetie. Okay, so we are gonna be stuffing some prop money today and I'll just leave that there. And then as for ca real cash, we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 40, 60, 80, 200, 220, and 221. So, um, I do use prop money for any of my bills and I like to leave that in my, I don't know why I did that in quotations, but <laughs> I want to leave that in the bank because all of my bills come out automatically. So it just makes it a lot easier. So let's just go ahead and stuff that one first to get that out of the way. Okay, so, oh, and I realize I don't actually have an envelope for that. So I'm gonna have to make one or no, it'll just be phone. That'll be fine. Okay. So in here, I have 50, 70, 90, 95, and 100. So let me just swap that out. Okay, so I have $100, and this is for my phone payment for this month, or for October. Yeah, for October. And then I'm going to be adding 20, or let me see. Right here. And then I'm going to be adding 20 and $40 and this will go towards my Mint Mobile payment to get that activated. So currently in phone, there is 140, but I'm about to pay the $100 in a little bit. Okay, perfect. And then next is for my payments. And in here, I'm going to add $100. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Okay, so now in here we have 100, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, and $300. And I'm actually thinking I might do a little bill condensing because I think I need it in my Etsy taxes, but I'll take a look. And then next is for my wallet. And I don't even think that I have my... I don't have my little thingy. This is probably going to be super unexciting to watch, so I'm sorry about that. But I'm just going to actually just stuff the money just into my wallet. So groceries is going to be getting $20. Eating out is going to be getting $80. So $20, $40, $60, and $80. And then miscellaneous will get $20. So all in all, my wallet is getting $20, $40, $60, $20, $40, $60 $80, $120. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that into my wallet. Perfect. And I do have one special bill today. I actually got this one out in the wild. I didn't get it from an ATM. And it's an A bill. And I love saving the A bills. So let me go ahead and get that stuff. And I put that here into my low priority binder special bills and I'll put it on this side because it's a one so let me go ahead and take this out this is my little tracker and I'll take the money out and I'll add it I have a few A's here in the back so I'll add this and now we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven Oh, okay, cool. I have 11 A bills. Look, and I love to save the A's because I just think they look so beautiful. Perfect. Oh my goodness. Okay, awesome. And then the rest are their star notes. Look, you can see that they're star notes. And then I have one $2 bill that I got when we were on our trip in California. Um, and it was so, I, I already talked about it, but I just love saying it. Um, <laughs> that when I got that two dollar bill we were actually out of the drive through in mcdonald's and she just gave back the two dollars like very casually and all of us in the car were just like oh my god oh my god it's a two dollar bill 
and she was just like um okay have a good day <laughs> because i don't know if is that normal in california for them to do two dollar bills but it's definitely not normal where where i'm from here in washington so i was just like oh, like that was so awesome so i just love telling that story it's it's just like so cute okay so today i always say i'm gonna make a new tracker and i don't i just have a scrap piece of paper <laughs> but today is the eighth and we added one dollar so we're now at 214 dollars in special bills so that's awesome i love seeing that um number go up and you know i don't even really know what i'm gonna do with this money to be honest okay and last but not least i did want to go ahead and take a look at my etsy taxes and i want to see if i can condense this in here before i put that money in the bank and make my payment oh and i did add a new envelope um i have some envelopes in here like these ones um i also love these these are the first set that i ever like truly officially made for myself um and it's um clear yeah it's all clear like this or well this part is vellum this is actually vellum but it looks clear on the white but when you put money in it you can tell that it's frosty from the vellum let me just throw money in here and everything here is available on my Etsy shop guys but look how cute that is oh my goodness I just love that that is so cute but a lot of people have recently been ordering this style the matte vellum and I just like oh, it's just such a statement how it looks and I just love it so anytime there's like a oopsie that I have to like reprint in a reprint an entire sheet I just been making myself envelopes slowly and I also have a bunch of oopsie envelopes back here like these that kind of just have some imperfections to them um that I've just been holding on to and when I have enough I'm gonna like sell them make like a set but anyways so let's go ahead and take a look at the etsy taxes here and see if we can add in another 100 i don't know if we can i don't think so so 1000 100 200 300 320 40 60 80 85 86 87 okay yeah so we cannot but almost i have my etsy paycheck that i'll be stuffing next week and we will definitely be hitting the 1400 mark and by the end of the month i'm sure we will hit the 1500 mark so i'll be able to take everything to the bank um because in case you didn't see i have a one thousand dollar placeholder this is also available on my shop um and this just means i have a thousand dollars in my bank account um so when i reach either one thousand or five hundred increments i put it in the bank so yeah so we're almost there we have um what do we got here 1387 so we're super close on that another thing you guys oh my lanta we went to Leavenworth. It's this little city out here in Washington. And I did pick up a few crystals. So what I have here is this is um, Himalayan rock, Himalayan salt. And I just love it. It's so cute. I love looking at it. Look at it. Oh, it's just so pretty. I just love this one so much. And I love that the base is like flat so it can stand perfectly. And then next I have an amethyst crystal. And I thought this looked like a heart look at that does that look like a heart oh my goodness when i saw it i was like wow that literally looks like a heart i love it so i got that one and then this one is actually a piece of a clamshell that i found when we were at um the beach which i thought was super pretty so i kept this one and then i also found this one at a different beach or no the same beach um but this is when i went another time and this is just a little bit of sea glass how cool is that and you can tell it's like translucent that is so beautiful and then last but not least i also have right here and this one right here i love this one because it can kind of stand kind of at an angle but i kind of just have it on its side right here i just think that looks so beautiful and this one is a raw rose quartz and i just thought this is so beautiful because when i was reading it it said that this opens your heart chakra to allow for love and contentment and I just thought that is so beautiful and I love that I need that in my life so I absolutely love these and I have them sitting on my little palette here and they're just super cute but anyways guys thank you so much for tuning into today's video I can't wait to see you guys in my next video where I will be cash stuffing my Etsy income and there will also be a little bit of baking income in there as well so I can't wait to see y'all in my next one so I'll see y'all then bye